All right, so we've designed and modeled our car. The next step that we need to do is create the wheels. To do that, we need a new file. So I'm just gonna minimize this, I don't need it anymore. We're gonna go back to the new icon like we did at the beginning. We're gonna be picking a standard.ipt file again. Double click on that, it opens up. Let's maximize it so I've got some more space. And I'm gonna create a new 2D sketch. I'll pick the plane there. So we've got our sketching area. Now wheels are pretty straightforward, they're just round. I'm gonna use the circle tool, click, and I wanna make just a 10 mil wheel. We're leaving a bit of tolerance here because when you're 3D printing, sometimes you get sag around the wheel wells. If we make this perfect 14 or 15 like we did the, the wheel well on the car, it's not gonna fit and it's not gonna spin properly. So five mil smaller, that gives us a lot of leeway just to make sure it works. So I click 10 mil there. So I end up with my 10 millimeter circle. Now we need a hole for the axle. Now this is gonna vary printer to printer. My printer is very cheap, <laughs> so it tends not to print holes very well. So despite my axle that I'm using is 1.75 millimeters, I'm gonna make this 2.5 just to make sure I've got enough room for that axle to go in. So there's my wheel. I'm gonna go finish sketch, and I need to extrude this out. I click the extrude icon, and I wanna click the space. Don't click inside that center. We wanna keep that hollow, so we click that. And you can see when we look at this that it's kept that axle hollow. My size, five mil is more than sufficient. It's just gonna be a little toy car. And I click the check mark. So that leaves my, my wheel. Now this is quite small, but we're just gonna go over a couple other features with it. I wanna create another 2D sketch on the outside of the wheel. You don't have to do this part, but you might find it entertaining. So I'm gonna draw a feature. If you look at like a, a mag wheel on a car, there's always features going around. There's a hole pattern, there's interesting triangles moving around. There's different things that you could do. So I'm gonna add my own feature to this wheel. It's gonna be really small in the print, but that's okay. You could use the line tool, the arc tool, the circle tool, you could use the lips. But I'm going to make just a triangle. Okay, just a simple shape. Finish that sketch and I'm gonna extrude that single shape. I'm gonna click on that. And again, we wanna change the direction. By default, I just went to cut. I'm gonna change this to through all, even though it was already at five, and check. So that gives me that cut. There's my, my wheel pattern there. Now I've only got one. Now I want this to go all the way around, obviously, but it's too much work to try to draw them all the same. So what I'm gonna use is a pattern tool. Before we used mirror, now we're gonna take a look at circular pattern. I click on circular pattern, this little window shows up. I'm gonna pick my feature, which is what I just drew. And then I need to go rotation axis and click on an axis. Now it's come up with six of them, but if we look at six, they're touching. We don't want that because it won't be able to print those. So let's take a look at four. Four works, does five work? Five would probably work. Three would give us an interesting effect. I'm, I'm gonna go with three for now, but again, this is your discretion. I click OK, and that's come out. Looks good. So I'm gonna go save as, this is, we'll call this tutorial, wheel, you can call it your name probably. Uh, save, and we also need to export this for 3D printing. So we're gonna go export again, CAD format. Make sure we select STL file from the list options, make sure the units are in millimeters. Okay, now we've got tutorial wheel, that's fine for the name, and save. So now I've got this saved as um, for my for 3D printing. Pretty straightforward. Now, the next thing that we need to do isn't part of the 3D print. This is for another part of the inventor tutorial, but we might as well do this now. So I'm gonna minimize this, and I'm gonna create a new, sorry, a new file another standard millimeter IPT. And we're gonna create a sketch just on here. Now this, you don't have to do this if you're just 3D printing. If you're going on and doing the assembly portion, then you do need this part. So this is gonna be the axle. I'll make a circle. The hole in the wheel was 2.5 millimeters. Enter, there's my 2.5 millimeter circle. I'll finish that sketch. 
I'm going to extrude it. I remember my car is 25 mils long, so 25. Check mark. Save as. We'll call it axle. And saving to the desktop. Save. I don't need to export this as an STL file because we're not actually printing this piece. Um, so the next part of this tutorial is going to be on assembly. All right.